Hey guys, uh, turns out we got some returns. Uh, I shipped out some coffee mugs and a few were returned to me, they were broken. And now I have to process that in the system. So today what we're gonna do is look into how we do that. Um, in basic Business Central where you log into Cronus, if you process a return, it goes into one of the storage locations or you have to pick or into the empty location if you prefer. Um, I like better when it goes into a special location for returns because then you can at least see the return merchandise separately out and uh, you can then deal with that by negative adjustment, uh, throwing it away or moving it back into uh, sellable inventory. So what we're going to go through today is how we set that up and process a sales return order so we can work with that inventory and possibly get it back out if it's in sellable condition. Let's see the application. Let's get into the system. Um, what we want to do now is create a new location to receive the returned merchandise in. So I'm going to go in here and get into locations. And we can see that standard we have east, main, west and the logistics ones. I'm just going to hit new for a new location and call it returns or returns, returns location. So we have a specific location for returns. Now this is not all I have to do uh, in order to set up a location. I actually have to tie it to accounting. So I have to go here into inventory posting setup and uh, pick here the inventory posting group resale. It's actually populated because I just did this. <laughs> and the inventory account uh, 10,700. This the business central is really helpful here. It just filters out the possibilities. So it only shows you the inventory accounts and what makes sense to log it to. So it should be fairly easy for you to actually pick these. Uh, let me just close that out and close out again. And now we have a returns location. Now let's do the sales return order. If we go here into sales returns um, and create a new one. Now we're actually creating basically the RMA, um, returns merchandise authorization. Uh, I'm going to pick the Adatum Corporation as the customer we're receiving from. And uh, then we can just click here on get posted document lines to reverse and find the actual order that we want it to reverse, which is the last one. So that's the one with two broken ones. And what the system does, it copies all of the information from that order into the line here. Now, one thing we got to do is we're going to change the location code to be returns because we want to receive into returns and quantity two, a unit price was 10 and that should be good. So now we can actually uh, receive the uh, product. Now, if you're in the Kronos database uh, from Business Central, Oddly enough, they have not populated the uh, posting number series for this return order. So you have to do that. Uh, and quickly, when I'm just going to tell you how to do that. If you go here into sales and receivables setup, you see all these number series over here. Now the posted return receipts, which is what gets generated when you um, post a sales return order, is not populated in the demo. You need to populate that. So you basically have to select the number series for that. And I will do a video on number series and how that works. Uh, but for now, you could even just pick the, uh, the shipment numbers, the same thing as, as here, and that would work. Uh, just the number series would be a little bit funky. It'd be same thing for shipments as return receipts, but for demo purposes, I think that would be fine. So we close that out. Um, 
we're getting it into the returns location quantity two i'm going to go ahead and post this receive an invoice and wait for the system to process this through hopefully without any issues yes so now it's created a credit memo this is what we received and now we actually log out and log out of this and go into the items um, here we have the coffee mug click on the coffee mug uh, we have actually 17 on hand and if we go into availability by location I can then see that I have two in the returns location and that should tell me that these two might not be okay uh, and I should not sell them and if they are okay I should then move them to the main location so they could be sold so you could direct your salespeople only to sell out of main never sell out of returns so I hope that was useful for you guys thank you